So, hello, Geminis, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Thanks, guys. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate, so take your guys and leave the rest. Also, if you guys would like to book me for a personal reading, ask me a question for $15 or... You just want to check out my horoscope page. Everything that you need is going to be down in the comment section listed below. So, you guys, this is an after dark bonus reading. Let's see what is going to be going on with you and your possible person or persons. Because some of you are dealing with more than one person, but we'll leave that on the hush hush. Um, intuitively, I feel like somebody is about to come in and shake up your world. I feel like you are going to be, um, kind of standoffish with your guard up. I feel like you have good reason to be because this person does have some things that they're lying or hiding from you. But I do feel like overall this person does like you and they do want to see where it goes. Maybe they have somebody and they're afraid to leave that, you know, stable thing for something that may not be so stable. But let's see. Okay, spirits, so tell me what's going on. What is going on with my Gemini? The moon card. Okay, so this can either be some deep emotions or this can be a secret. Well, either way, it's a secret. But let's see what type of uh, situation we got going on here. Queen of Swords in reverse. Woo! Whew, somebody's really bitchy. Badass attitude. Towards somebody who really just wants to offer you some stability here. Interesting. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here, Spirit? Oh, oh, see, this all made it make sense. So I feel like you're being an asshole, a bitch, a bastard to somebody right now with good reasoning. Because I feel like you are dealing with someone who left you or did some, you know, some not so nice things to you. And this person wants back in with this reconciliation card. I feel like you have a decision whether or not you want to move forward with this person. I'm getting Gemini and Cancer energy here. I'm also getting Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Pisces, too. Libra, as well. But, I feel like you're going to have to decide what you want to do. But, I feel like you was giving this person hell on wheels right now. Let's see. Tell me more about why this person is coming back with this Wheel of Fortune. Because something ended for them. Possibly another commitment here. Interesting enough. What does Hermit... With this hermit card, I feel like this person might have ghosted you to go and deal with another connection. Yeah, something that they probably felt like was going to be real plentiful for them. Bountiful, Spirit said. But with the Ten of Swords here, they ended something with you to go towards somebody else. And now look at them, coming back. Still immature as fuck, though. Because, see, you're sitting here as the queen. You're even sitting here as the queen. This motherfucker comes up as the page. We don't like pages. Nobody can act childish but us Geminis. And that's where we feel like it. Okay? Now, anyways, moving forward. Let's see how this person feels about you. Thank you, Miss Maya. I have a helper on the floor helping me get my cards that I dropped. So let's see how this person feels about you, Gemini. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine and separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, but honeymoon is at the bottom of the deck here. 
So this person misses the time that you guys spent together. Maybe it was like really light and playful and you guys really had a different type of experience. But I feel like you had to separate yourself from this person so this person could respect you. Because I feel like there was a lack of respect. I heard this person think you stupid. So maybe this person had the idea that you they could play with you. Maybe because they had played with you for quite some time. But Gemini said that's over now. Let me show you. Yeah, this person definitely wants to reach out to you. I feel like um, they are homeless. This person may not have a stable place to go. And um, maybe their uh, stability was with you and now they don't have it anymore. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Devil. Somebody put their ass right on out. Okay, it seems like they continuously keep having bad luck here. It's like people like them, people deal with them, but then when they see what type of shit they on, they leave them. I even feel like this person tried to actually work out being a good person with one person and <laughs> just didn't happen like that. Yeah, could have been a Virgo that this person dealt with after you, but I feel like this person fucked their ego all up. Honey girl told them about themselves. Oh, honey guy. Yep. And with the emperor now, they feel the need to come back to control you because they feel like you're the only person that they can still control. Yep. Five of swords. This person wants to play games with you. You need a bath. Yep. And with the king of cups here, I feel like this person is going to come in trying to act like they don't have that much emotions, but they do. Mm-hmm. You might turn your back, though. I hope you turn your back. You deserve to turn your back on somebody that treats you like this. Yeah, but guess what? Even though they acting like they don't care, they stress the fuck out. They hoping that you take them back because they don't have nowhere to go. Yep, and they ain't, they ain't going to tell you that, though. Thank you, baby. Yeah, Eight of Cups because they hoping that you don't walk away. Eight of Cups in reverse. They hope that you, you love them enough, that you're passionate enough, that you want to stay with them. <laughs> well... Let's get an outcome. First of all, let's get some cards and see what this person is thinking, what they have to say to you, what they want to say to you. Oh, shit. These cards be fucking people up. I'm sorry. All right. First card out is you are my world. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I just mixed up my cards. Did I? Yep. A little bit. A little bit so. A little bit. It'll be all right. All right. So that's exactly why I'm gonna get some real shuffling cards. So you guys wait a minute. Second card out is let me go. Okay. You guys got the same card as Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Third card out is. I don't deserve you. Okay. So at least they know. <laughs> okay. Third card out is... It's over. Let me go. It's over. You are my world and I don't deserve you. STD, go get checked. Bottom of the deck. Manipulator. You are going to do what I want you to do. Oh, okay. So that's what the problem was here. This person thought they had the upper hand on you. And although they loved you, you were their world. It was almost like you were their possession. Like this person didn't love you in an idea like you were their mate. They felt like they owned you. Like you ain't going nowhere. You, you minds type of thing. And you proved them wrong. And now they feel like it's over. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this. And they might even be mad and, and really be like, okay, now since you left, don't come back type of thing because they're pissed. But they really do want you. They really do want you. But they just may want you for all the wrong things. Like, they homeless, they don't have nobody. They feel like they could control you. And now they realize that they can't. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is. In the Page of Wands, the Sun card... Seven, five of Swords. I see you embarking on a new journey with somebody new. That makes you very happy. I feel like there is going to be a little bit of mind games. Let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here? What is this mind game thing going on? 
What is this mind game thing going on? Six of Swords. Okay. And the Fool. Okay, so they're the person from the past that you moved on from. Um maybe still trying to get back in your energy but i see you going ahead and, and walking away from that because you have this this new thing what is this page of wands of the sun yep you're going to turn your back right on them when they try to come back towards you because you're going to be focusing on something better yep and they're going to feel left out in the cold goodbye <laughs> so let's see what is the advice what is the advice manifest with somebody who you know for sure wants to manifest with you okay somebody who is going to give you that equal love and that balance not somebody that's going to reject you okay okay let's get one card from the rebel deck and one card from the chakra deck and i'm going to let you guys go it says you tight ass Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. Okay. And one card from the chakra deck. You got two. Second chakra, the sacred chakra sensuality it says i encourage myself to express my sensuality and my emotional creativity using my faculties including touch voice actions and creative abilities such as art craft music acting cooking gardening and writing i precise my awareness of being enjoyable my senses of being nourished and stimulated by natural worlds such as the landscapes people weather animals aromas and sound so it's time for you to get in tune with your 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 sensuality okay and the first i mean the second card is your first chakra base chakra instinct i trust that my instincts are correct and i let my natural intuitive feelings guide me towards what i need i know that i need to do i need uh, I know what I need to do and how I need to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an imminent desire of service in life. As I tap into my feelings, I will know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. All right, so I am going to post these in uh, my community post board so you will have these. Okay, thank you guys.